I can. Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's been a wonderfully beautiful day and week, actually. In so I spent some time outside, but I have making myself come in and paint with you all. I have a new old hutch that I'm actually redoing. And as those of you that pop on, or if you're catching the replay, I want to ask you if you know what color this base coat is. Matthew, do you have any guesses? Uh, the one and only color that is the best, old school. I went with old school, guys. I did this for Matt. I decided I wanted a dark background, but I'm actually going to be using my own painting as my inspiration. So the light is kind of wonky tonight. I don't know why it's the same ring light I use every single night. Um, but I'm going to use this painting that I just finished yesterday as my or today as my inspiration for this piece. So I want, that's right, Rob. I used old school over the entire piece. So there's a mirror up at the top. I don't know if you can see that. There's a mirror up there. And then I took the hardware off of this so I could have, there's already some, some molding that I'm kind of working around. And so I'm actually going to use, this is Soul Sisters. And um, I'm going to use this as my inspiration. So imagine this bigger and on that. I'm going to give it my best shot. This is a um, piece of furniture that I did in my membership group. I do a monthly tutorial there for them that's exclusive to them. Um, and it didn't sell, but we practiced doing um, IOD stamping. We did a lot of IOD stamps. I gave it this French old world, not French old world, but French um, rustic look to it, which turned out really pretty, but I didn't sell it. And so I thought, I know exactly what I want to do to this. And so I finished this. So we're going to get started. What I'm going to work on tonight, I have some acrylics. I actually have um, a couple of fluorescents in orange and pink. And then I have cherry picked Summer Crush, Cowgirl Coral, and Queen Bee. All right. So we're going to work on the bottom with some of my brushes. So I want you to see this area here. Matthew, are you here, baby? I'm here. You're sleeping. No, you just you just keep talking. I don't want to interrupt. Okay, well, he's pretty pumped that I put old school on the back. Base coat, old school. So I'm going to come back in. It's quite a bit of dramatic stuff going on here, especially the way that I have the flowers dripping. But I want you to imagine this on here. So the sky will be at the top of the blue. And then I really am enjoying the way that these colors are working together. And so I'm gonna work my way up on this piece from the bottom up, and then we'll come back in in the center and add the flowers. But I wanna wrap this entire piece, so I have a feeling we're gonna be working on this piece for quite a few days. Um, and that's okay. That is all right, because guess who's gonna be here every day for the next 92 days? Old school Matt. Is more of the gray. Old school is a gray. It is not our black. We have black velvet and little black dress, um, which little black dress is the darkest. And then the black velvet's a little bit lighter than that. And then this is old school. It's a very cool piece, you guys. It's got two, two handles on each. It's a really cool piece. It has a mirror up there, a square mirror. But I'm thinking if I can get anywhere close to this painting on the front of this, wrap it around the sides, that it might look pretty stinking cool. Can you guys see that, yeah, Linda? It will people be. Are, people are digging it. Yeah, you're liking the idea. Yeah, they, okay. They, I think they're excited to see how it's going to turn out. Okay, cool, cool. So right down here, I have a lot of fluorescence. So I'm going to dive in right now, which is why I actually grabbed the orange and the pink fluorescence. I'm going to kind of be mixing that in with the cherry picked and the cowgirl core. But I'm going to set this right over here behind me. And at any point you have questions, just let me know. Just let me know, guys. I asked everybody in my group today. I posted a question and said, I really want to know. You've heard me. Been, I've said this now for four years online. It's just paint. And then I hear, store, I, we're still scared. We're still scared of paint. Um, and so I asked everybody, tell me what it is you're actually scared of. And of course, that means I have to look at myself and go, what, did, what was I so scared of in the beginning? What would make my heart race? What would make me get online and just feel like I'm going to die? And then that, do you remember when I would come in 
and I'd sit on the couch and I'd be like, ah, that took everything I had out of me. Mm -hmm. And I'd you say, still do that. I don't do that. I go, let's go, 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 go now. But I remember just prepping myself to paint in front of people and have them watch me and worried about judgment, um, worried about painting something really hideous and being laughed at. So I asked everybody in my group, I'm getting some really good responses, um, some honest responses. And I love that so much. Uh, but I have always said, it's just paint, you guys. And I think um, what we have to learn with anything is that your creative soul needs to create. And when you don't allow that, you're going to have chaos. You're going to have turmoil. You're going to have discomfort. Jonathan makes a good point. Because I think it's more about the judgment and not so much the paint. But the paint is the first step. True, because if you were just painting and not showing anyone, you wouldn't be quite as worried, right? Like, how many times have you met someone that says, I write or I play music or I do this, but then they don't show anybody? Quite a bit, right? And you're like, please just let me see, you know? Uh, so I, I get it. That probably is the hardest part. Kathy Cooper says, for me, it's putting money into something that doesn't turn out. And my family says, ugh. I get that. <laughs> it happens. Kathy. I get that. Yeah, I get happens. it a lot. You invest some money and you want it to turn out nice. And you, you spend paint money and you get supplies. But there's no nothing that says you can't practice. There's nothing that says, if you're looking back here, guys, this is my inspiration painting. Um, set it kind of up here where you can see it better. So we're starting out with Picked of Cherry. Picked of Cherry? Yeah. No. Say it right. Pick Cherry. I'm not going to answer you. This is old school as a bathroom. There's a band called Pick Cherry. No, it's Buck Cherry. That's what it is. Did you say what? what it's did you called say? Buck B U C K oh, Buck. Okay, gotcha. Cherry. Okay. That's a band. If you say so. It is. It is. So I'm just brushing on my cherry picked. This is all going to be my base coat. But I thought it was an interesting question earlier. And like I said, I'm getting some good responses. And it's, I'm curious, what holds you back from jumping in there? Both of, both of what Kathy said and what Jasmine said make so much sense. The money thing, that's a hard one. Practice, 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 though. Hello, Janet from another planet. Hello, Miss Janet. Uh, Marcy Callaway, I missed the beginning. What is the base color? The base color is old school. Hi, Marcy. This is a piece that I painted in our Creative Connection. Um, I did it for a two monthly tutorial about five, maybe four or five months ago. It hasn't sold, and I've decided I'm ready to give it a new look. So I'm using this painting behind me as my inspiration. And I'm coming in with my warm reds and bold fluorescent colors here at the bottom. And then I'm going to build up the sky up at the top and then build up my large flowers on it. That's my plan, at least. Hello, Michelle Leak. Hi. Hello from Oklahoma. Hello. Uh, hopefully, you know I'm in Oklahoma, too. She's our Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Hopefully, you know we're in Oklahoma too. Fair Meeker, I'm afraid of not knowing when I'm done and I keep painting when I should have stopped. I get that. That happens. I get that. You have to know when to stop. And I usually say, by the time I stop, I realized early on I should have stopped about two steps prior to that. <laughs> Um, thanks, Marcy. I just kind of looked at it and thought, you know what? I'm ready to give this piece another look. Totally different. So I knew that piece probably wasn't going to sell, and I didn't even do the sides. So we have a clean slate on the sides. It's both wood, but I had some really large IOD stamps that I used for the Creative Connection um, and was showing everybody how to use them. It gave it a really cool French look. I had one lady message me immediately and say she wanted it, and then that kind of fell through. And so we're gonna we're gonna get in there and give it a new look now. Uh, Janet says Janet from California. Hello, hello. Hi. 
Janae. So what I'm getting used to is the texture and how the waxes bring that out. That's fine. I'm from old school of smooth finishes. So yeah, that could be a little tough to get used to and try things different. Sure. Well, I don't know if that's old school or not. I mean, there's still something to be said for a really smooth, crisp finish. Um, but it is a little bit harder with chalk paint, but you can still do that. You know. Hello, you, Heather Watson. You can in the house. Still achieve that look, definitely. So what I'm working on right now is I've got the old school on the base, but I'm going to start working on this deep color down here and wrapping that kind of a luminary look along the bottom. And I just want to take this, put it on here much bigger. This is my inspiration. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at Lolly Lolly. Lolly? What'd she say? Yeah, she's she said, seal it. I seal it if I think I've stopped. Then if I sad, I can wash off. <laughs> I think she got really excited when she was typing, I think. She went, boop, 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 She boop, said, boop, sad. Boop. I have no idea what I meant to say. <laughs> no worries, sister. That's what I mean. I think, Lolly, you just had that perspective of it's just paint, too. It's just paint. And luckily, Matt has always been a guy that's like, I mean, he may look at me skeptical with whatever it is I'm doing, but he's always said, you are the decorator, not me. So he doesn't really get in there and question that a whole lot. Right, babe? That's correct. I, I know my role, and it's hanging the paintings, not telling me where they go. Ah, well, and funny as that is, you very rarely hang paintings. I pretty well do that all myself. Oh, well, that's have. true. That's true. Always but, have. That's true. Yeah, I don't really have a lot to do with that. My mom was always one of those. She still is one of those that she decor. She she's a DIYer. She's a true DIYer. So she just taught me to get in there, paint it, hang. Need to do. Okay. Uh, the Bohemian. After sitting for so long, do you sit on a pillow? So I have a cushion underneath me right now that Matt bought for me, but he only bought that last week. So I'll tell you this, in the last couple of years, my back does hurt when I've been sitting on the floor for more than an hour or so, but I'm such a floor sitter that it's so hard for me. I just prefer to, to crawl around and be on the floor, uh, but it is starting to show up, right, Matt? Yes. Yes, it's starting to show up and give me some trouble. So I just... Um, guess we have in the house tonight. Guess who we have in the house? I'll just tell you. Okay. You, you won't be able to guess it. All right. I got to keep looking at my. She's she's one of one of my favorite Australians. Um, one of your favorite. You have yeah. a you have a few, but I'm gonna go with Miss Kathy Anderson. That's it. Good day, Kathy. Hi, sweet Kathy. How are you? Okay. So I'm gonna get some of this yellow in there. Ah, uh, Michelle Lee. Michelle is. She is based out of Edmond, Oklahoma, and she wants to come to one of your classes next time you have one here. So oh. just keep posted, Michelle, and she'll do another one. I will do another one. I've been talking about doing one in December. I just I haven't I haven't uh, started promoting that yet or, or decided for sure. Uh, she also, Michelle also says my grandson watches your shows with me. He's five. Aww. Christopher thinks he is an expert. Nice job, Christopher. Good job, Christopher. What a good boy. All right, so I'm going to be adding in some fluorescent acrylics here in just a uh, second. What, what pink? Is that petticoat pink? No, this is cowgirl coral. Cowgirl coral. And then this is queen bee. I'm just kind of warming it all up a minute before I come in with my fluorescence. Karen Brown's in the house. Hi, Karen Brown. How are you, dear? Got a new piece, brand new finish. I'm gonna, I loved this painting so much that I decided to put this on the front of my piece of furniture. At least that's my plan. Is that the plan? That's my plan. I have a feeling this is gonna take you a while. I'm honey, I'm covering it in flowers. It's definitely going to take me a while. This is a, this is a big old piece. This is a huge piece. It has, it's very deep. It has a bunch of sides. So yeah, it's, <laughs> It is going to take me a little bit, but I'm here for it every day, right? 
Sure, why not? We're on day eight of a hundred, so I I need something to paint, but I think this will be fun. Mindy Thompson, Matt, did you ever get the purple color? Hmm. I'm not sure. Did ever get the purple color? I don't know. I don't know, Mindy. I can't, maybe, maybe not. I I'm can't not sure. remember what what that's about, honestly. So we were talking earlier about things that hold us back when it comes to painting, what we're scared of. I was asking everybody in my group, and for me it was the fear of being considered or being laughed at or not serious or not a professional. Well, you name it, and I worried about all of it. I think that I think that's that's really common, I would think, right? Starting in something new and and it's one thing to do something new, but it's one thing, right, Matt, to do something with people watching. Well, when you first started, nobody was watching. When I mean, you started, you started over, you know, six, seven years ago. Years not ago. when I'm online. Well, no, not online, but well, I was just talking I about painting in general because you, you did sell your pieces. So I started 10 years ago, but I started doing online video almost five years ago. And that was the that was the scary part. The first time I started painting online, I wasn't actually painting. I was just like I would stage and do like a video. So guys, I'm just trying to get some color on here because again, I'm going with this look. So I'm concentrating on the bottom of this right here. And so I'm going to get some fluorescence in here. But Matt, like I didn't do I didn't do what I'm doing right now. Um, no. I would just I would just kind of work on a couple of little things, and I would stay on for about ten minutes. Um, but then I think what what the funnest thing of my day was was getting on here and talking with everybody um, and answering their questions and teaching them teaching them the things that I was doing, and then just kind of realizing I really enjoyed it. I really had a good time. And honestly, I think it's okay to admit that, I mean, I felt like I was, I was pretty good at teaching and I, I enjoyed it. So I think when you find out you're pretty good at something, which was teaching and, and helping everybody understand and giving them the confidence, then you, you feel better about it. And then my foot is stuck in my apron. Sorry. I think it's important to just really enjoy what you do, whether you make it a business or not. It's something that it just, it, it takes you to a different place. You can, you know, you don't have to think about one particular, you know, a bunch of particular things running through your head and what happened that day. It can just, it just, mm -hmm. you know, happens because you enjoy it. And if it turns out to be that um, you, you start selling pieces, then that's great. But, you know, hobby is, 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 is what it is. It's something that uh, makes you happy. That's just my opinion because it, For sure. I, I don't know. I think your intentions were to, to sell pieces on your painted pieces online, but I don't think you've ever thought that's it not why I was painting. Yeah, right. definitely. Right. I did it just to grow my following. I remember thinking more people will follow and it will be good at some point to have a larger following. Like I never really jumped in there with an agenda on, you know, why I was doing the videos. But besides the videos, I was I just kind of was curious what held people back from trying things like I am using a mop brush and I am putting it on my piece of furniture and I'm trying to kind of duplicate this look right here that's on my painting um, because I want this to be the front of the wardrobe. Uh, so I know I have to use kind of the same colors. So I'm using DIY as kind of my backdrop instead of doing the whole thing and just my, you know, my acrylics that I use on canvas, but I'm using the. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you helping out answering questions. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Rob. Now they were curious about uh, your, you know, DIY and you're going to use acrylics on this. And stuff yes, like that. yes. This is just the, um, all of this is DIY, but I just grabbed an orange and a pink fluorescent, a neon pink that I'm just adding right here because it's in the paint and that I think that's the part that really makes it pop and so I'm just kind of duplicating that along the bottom we're gonna work our way up to the top with the bright blues 
And then in the middle, we will do a whole spray of flowers, just like on this campus. Oh, uh, we have Kuita Adams in the house tonight. Hi, sister. How are you? Did everybody catch Kuita's podcast with me today? Came out today. Uh, Cheryl, the background color is old school. Old school. Yeah, old school. Guys, if you missed that podcast, you can listen at any time. Uh, Pam Dudley, are the fluorescent paint a different brand of paint? Yeah, they're they're from Michaels and Hobby Lobby neon pink. Uh, this is Artist Loft. DIY does not make a neon. But you can see that the colors are kind of the same. Now, I did not use DIY on here, but I used um, some black with some purple and got that deep color that I'm trying to kind of match with my cherry picked over here. Uh, Tina Carson Fink. Hi, Tina Fink. How are you doing? What? She's, I, I'm assuming she's doing well. Um, Good to see you. She didn't say, but she would like to know what your podcast is called. It's called Paint Talks apostrophe S. Apple added an apostrophe S to it, even though it might, it already ended with an S. So it's Paint Talks' podcast. It's on Apple and Stitcher and Spotify. Um, we now have four episodes out. And Quito's was out today. Oh, Janet Jan from Another Planet says, I love the podcast today with Miss Quito. Oh, thank you, Janet. I'm so glad you enjoyed that. I have not listened to all of it. Shame. I, I said all of it. I, I listened to some of it, just That's not okay. all of it. That's all right. But I will because I enjoy it. They're fun. Well, the bloopers are at the end. We when when Quita and I were recording, Abby was laying underneath Quita's chair. And Abby in the evening has a little tummy trouble and she tends to be a little gassy. And so she 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 just couldn't help it, and we had to cut out. We we did have we, a few things we had to edit in. We that. had to edit out me and, and me and Kalita, and then we said Kalita, so we just put that at the very end of it, which was kind of funny. We didn't want to leave it out completely, but it's pretty funny. Karen Brown, I missed the very start of this live. Is this piece you you are redoing and completing that was in your garage? Yes. It was in my garage. I did it in the Creative Connection about four or five months ago. Um, it was a, that French piece that I did for our group, Karen, and um, it didn't sell. And so I have decided to redo it. So my base coat is old school and I'm using my mop brush from the Turquoise Iris collection. And I'm adding a little bit of fluorescent over and doing some texture because I want to duplicate the look of this painting. Hope that makes sense, guys. I haven't really done that before, and I've certainly never used one of my own paintings as my inspiration, but I feel like, hey, it's a good, it's a good fun thing to do. Uh, Lori Bear on the tubes. Dion, how long have you been painting? I've been painting furniture for 10 years now, professionally. <laughs> what about recreationally? Well, I have always been painting. <laughs> I've, I've always been one of those DIY or painters. My mom taught me to paint my first piece of furniture when I was 12, but she only let me do one color and that was white. Boo. Boo. And I was like, can I paint the hardware? And she, I think she may have let me paint the, re the hardware red or something, but basically I had to stick with her, her color combinations so it wouldn't look tacky. We got the old Monica Random Marshalls in the house. Hi, Miss Monica. Hope everybody's having a great week. I've been painting outside so much and it's been so fun. I actually left my easel out there tonight because I got tired of dragging it back in, but I'm hoping we have another beautiful day tomorrow so I can get outside for another hour or so. Yeah, it was really nice. I'm supposed to have another nice day tomorrow, so. Well, hopefully. It's supposed to. But you never know around here. It could change in a heartbeat. Well, I don't want the easel to get wet. Do you think we should leave it out or is it okay? I don't think we get rain, any moisture for 
till Monday. Okay. So I think you're going to be okay. So you can see that I'm using the mop brush and going kind of at an, in an X because I'm creating a little bit of texture with the acrylic. I'm trying to duplicate this. So I will also use my oil pastels in yellow to warm up that bottom of that and give it that sunny glow that's going along the bottom of it. Uh, Rob's got a good question. Does Dion's mom paint as well? That would be a great podcast. So my mom is a, is a, you know, wall painter and she can do furniture and has done a beautiful job. Um, she kind of went through a stage when I was, you know, trying to help her, she retired and I was, we were kind of doing a few pieces, but, um, she doesn't enjoy it like I do, but she can, and she's very good at it. Um, she's more of a one color, you know, type person as far as what she does. She doesn't, she doesn't do all the mixing and the blending and all the, the blaring, like Matt calls it. Karen Brown would love to have your mom on to paint with you sometimes. Thank you. Maybe she will sometimes, you guys. She's got to get up a lot of nerve, though, before she does. It's not her thing to have any attention on her whatsoever. But one of these days, I'm definitely going to have my brother on the podcast, though. I think I've convinced him that he should come on to the podcast. Um it will be easier for him even, you know, is he on here right now? Who, your brother? Yeah. I have not seen your brother on there. Okay. So he's he's really hilarious, or at least he thinks he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's agreed to come on the podcast, so you guys can load him up with questions, and then I'll, I'll kind of read through the questions in the podcast. We'll do it kind of like that sometime. Um, Missy? Uh, what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about painting furniture professionally? Um, what advice? I would give so much advice. That's a, that's a. You basically have a whole like, awesome. membership group about what you. That's why I have a membership group. Exactly. Yeah. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so much. Um, I would probably start with just, um, I wouldn't start turn it into a business until you felt really comfortable with your uh, design sense and like your who you're marketing to, who you're going to market, where you're going to market it, and um, for, keep it a hobby as long as you can, unless you are really ready to jump in there because it is hard work. Um, but I would keep painting as long as you could and just kind of growing your craft before you jump in and turn it into a business. Fair Meeker, do you, did you ever try a top coat versus wax over the oil pastels? I did, I did um, Big Top and it worked okay, but I didn't like the shine that was going over the oil pastels. I wanted it to stay muted. I wanted it to really stay um, softened more of a wax look i hope that that makes sense um but i did try that and it didn't come off any more than it did with the wax uh coming back off but i waited about a week and i thought that was a good enough time and i just lightly kind of put it on there but it made the whole piece more shiny than what i would have liked for it to have been okay so i'm really loving the way this is right now you can see what my inspiration is so I want to get more yellow around the edges. Still using my mop brush from Paint Pixie. And let me get a little bit more yellow in here and then some of the fluorescent. I don't want to cover up all of that cherry picked because I really do love it. What do you think, Matthew? Is it hard to imagine where I'm going with it? Um. I mean, it would be if I, I couldn't see exactly what you were trying to accomplish. You know what I mean? But so you see the painting, that, right? Yeah, the painting helps me, you know, visualize where your end result is going to be. So I get it. Now, if I didn't have that, I'd be like, you've gone crazy. You've gone loopy. You need more sleep or something. <laughs> well, good thing we have the painting for you to look at then, Mr. Woods. Uh, Kristen C. Pack, do you ever find it easier to paint from an inspiration versus just jumping in? No, I actually find it a lot easier just to jump in there 
Um, it's too much pressure to, to follow a picture or something like that. I think because I painted this personally, I feel like I'm going to do well with this, but looking at a picture of something and using it as my inspiration is always more challenging for me. I rather just do what's up here. Like with this painting, I just painted for my brain like that just, and that's with all of the ones that I've been working on. Um, but I think since I did that, I will, I will be okay on this piece. I'm hoping. Pam Dudley, oh, when will your new beautiful brushes be up? So they're on the website today. I just forgot to tell you guys, all of the new brushes are on the website. Um, Paint Pixie, I don't have them yet, but they are in route. And so um, as soon as they are here, I will begin shipping them. But yeah, they're on my website now, you guys. I put them all on there. It took me several hours today, but I got all the new brushes and all the palette knives are on there. Um, okay, so what we'll end up doing is I'm going to take this all the way up, all the way around to the same kind of look. I'll have areas where it's heavier, areas where it's darker, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about right here. So true, Lolly. She just makes it look so simple and easy, and it's not. They're having they're having a pretty in depth conversation of of uh, how you get what you get. Okay. How, how, you, like, how you obtain the blending so well oh. that they try and, and sometimes they use too much paint and, um, you know. Yes, I do. Or maybe not enough paint and too much water, you know, it's just lots of, they're, they're having a really good discussion over there. On the tubes. On the tubes. Yeah. Okay. Matthew, do you, is there a, um, I need some water. What kind of water? I need like some water. water. No, I need to dr dr dip this in a bowl of water. Can you get one of those bowls, please? And go put some water in it for me. I need wet, loose water, not spray. Wet, loose water. Is water ever tight? I mean, just please. I'm just curious. <laughs> I guess. I don't know how to describe it. I like, I can't come up with the words for you. I guess water. But if you can just give me a bowl of water, I'll I love guess, you forever. I guess water could be tight when it's frozen. <laughs> I can't think of the words. Okay, and then I just want like the way that the the fluorescent is just kind of casting a the texture over it. It's your nice loose water. I want some loose water. Thank you. Guys, if you don't know, there is a difference. Okay, in water. smarty pants. There's loose water, tight water, and medium water. <laughs> now we're getting it. See, loose. 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 I didn't want to spray it on. I wanted it actually texture and dripping. Hello, Liz Armstrong. Thanks for joining. Um, she just got here, but uh, the piece, the background is old school, which is a great. Hello, Miss Liz Armstrong. I'm glad you're here too. Yeah, passionate pigments in the house. Rebecca Vineyard. Miss Tanya. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Kimberly's in the house. Okay. Sharon Asher's in the house. Hi, Sharon. A bunch of my Georgia girls are popping on. What? what? All right. So Thank I want you, passionate pigment. It's my favorite day too. She, Old school. She used it recently. She did. Yes. It's a great background color. All right. So I needed a little craziness going on there for me. Kathy Cooper wants to know what she's doing wrong. Her water isn't loose enough. <laughs> Smarty pants. Oh, we're not going to let that one go. I needed loose water, like loose, like a bowl of loose water. That's what I needed. Smarty pants. Is uh, Lori Bear. She says, Matt, what is your occupation? My occupation is make my wife happy. Ha ha ha. What He's an electrician. I, and, I, own, I own an electrical contracting company. And he it's its name is old school electric. So that is why old school is his favorite color. He's wears that on his shirt and his hat every day of the week. Old school. 
Yes, Liz, I got her to use old school. Actually, she surprised me. She said she was coming in here to put the base coat on. And then I walked in and she's like, look what I use. And I was like, uh-huh, so we're fabulous. I put old school on the whole thing. And now I'm just kind of um, working on getting this down here. And I will paint this side, guys. Right now I'm not because I am just, I'm blocking it. And I'm trying to just work on this right here. Hey, Alice is in the house tonight. Hi, Alice. How you doing, girl? I hope you're well. Kitty Harris says so she, she misses the lines, but uh, she caught us tonight. Very nice. Well, I'm on every single day now. I've been doing evenings this week. We'll see if it sticks, you know, if we keep that up or not. It just kind of depends on what we have going on in the week. I'm going to do a little bit more of the, of the pink. And then I need it to, to dry before I go any further. I'm using the mop brush. It's our new brush. They're on my website. The, the reason I'm using this is because I'm kind of creating texture. I don't want a real heavy. The bristles are very soft. And if I use one of my heavy furniture brushes, it's going to pull the paint off. And I don't want that. So this is where I would say you're using a light hand. Very light with a soft bristle mop brush. It's very soft. It's from the Pro Series. It's a very fine professional style brush. And I'm holding it on the end and just dusting it back and forth like this. You're welcome, Cheryl. So my goal is to have all of this wrapped around the sides. And then I'll work up back up at the top with the blues. Come down with the blues. And I'll fill in in the center section with bouquets of roses and wrap that all the way around the side. Crystal said loose paint. I hear sarcasm in Crystal's voice. <laughs> it's loose paint. That's correct. Kind of like, kind of like loose water. I hear sarcasm. I, hey, I'm like it. I'm liking it. Crystal Coral Marie Monina in the house throwing throwing it down tonight <laughs> <laughs> okay so let me do a little bit more yellow along the bottom in keeping with the way the painting looks and then i'm going to sign off tonight i am determined to get into bed early tonight you hear me woods he didn't I literally said that. something to him and he that. totally ignored me. You say that every night and, and by the time you get in bed and shut the light off, it's like 3 a.m. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. 3 a.m. It's more like, it's more like 12, 15. This girl is never up at 3 a.m. Oh, I'm going to record it, take a picture of you. 3 a.m.? I'm going to put a stamp code on it and I'm going to post it on the line. I'm going to post it. When was the last time I've been up at 3 a.m.? I didn't. I said I was, I was being a little sarcastic. Then You're bumped, being very sarcastic. I bumped it back down to 12 minutes. And highly dramatic, really. I mean. Crystal, <laughs> Crystal Coral Marie Molina, she says, prude paint is no fun either. <laughs> what kind? Prude. Prude. Prude paint. Oh. Not easy paint, but prude paint. <laughs> Goofy. All right. I don't know how long I've been on. Okay, Grace, Grace was like, I'm not understanding why you did schoolhouse first. Maybe she's old school. Oh, the reason I did, oh, let me tell. The reason I did old school first was because the color underneath here, there were four different colors underneath here. Okay. And there were stamps that had texture because there was IOD stamps and I wanted a dark background to cover it all up and make it uniform. I didn't want white peeking out or the turquoise poking out. So that way all you see is the deep. It adds to the drama of putting the, the old school first and then putting it over the uh, cherry picked next. 
it adds a lot of drama. So that is why I did that. Um, the base of this was basically the same. It was all dark and I added in the, the brighter colors on top of it. So I'm just kind of trying to, to follow suit with the way I did this painting. Yep, it gave me a clean slate. That's exactly right, Tanya, thank you. Well, Lolly says, if you're, if you're up at three, she's gonna go ahead and text you. No, I'm not. <laughs> this girl sleeps. I sleep. I sleep good seven or eight hours every single night. That's what you need. I am definitely a sleeper. But Tracy Lopez would like to know if, if you could, and I think we do this at the end, but um, all the colors we use on this piece plus acrylic. So I think we'll do that or just keep watching. We'll, we'll do that. Well, sure. I'm just about done because my right leg is falling asleep. <laughs> so I'm going to have to say hasta la vista. And next time I'm on, I can sit on a stool and be just a little bit higher. Uh, this is cherry picked which the colors that I use are all from DIY. I have used Summer Crush, Cowgirl Coral, Queen Bee, and then the colors I'm adding are orange and neon pink fluorescent. I hope that that helps. Uh, I think, I think, I'm sorry if I get this name wrong, Sahara? S H A R H A N. Sharon. Is it Sharon? Is that how you say it? Well, I don't know. Sharon Sober? Probably. Uh, I have a piece I need to repaint because it hasn't sold. I've been putting it off because I love how it came out. It's probably time. If you can do it, I can make myself repaint it. I know, girl. It's hard because I really did like this. It was totally different than my taste, but I was teaching in my creative connection. So I often try to do things different, you know, to, for everybody, for the masses, not just my style over and over again um, and i really liked how it came out i thought it was really special and i was inspired by my trip to france and actually i was inspired with this piece from my trip to monet's actual home claude monet's home his kitchen had a beautiful french blue on it and in it and that this piece was what i painted inspired by that um but since it didn't sell i didn't even do the sides because they're really deep they're like 24 inches deep on this so it's a very large deep cabinet um but like i said i did not even finish it and i figured it was time and i'm really happy so far with the way the bottom of this looks so we're going to add a lots of dramatic flowers we're going to do the whole piece with wildflowers all over it. But this is going to be not covered up. This is going to look as if the flowers are spilling out over it the way that I did the painting. Uh, Kimberly, uh, she kind of wants to know if you can just make a trip uh, to her house in Florida and uh, kind of show her what she's doing wrong. Uh, and then uh, Lisa Dixon says, <laughs> yes, Kimberly, she can stop in North Carolina, North Carolina on her way home. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yeah, the guys, traveling road show. No kidding. We're kind of doing that now. I mean, so we'll, hopefully we'll make it to Florida or close to Florida sometime. So, but I don't know that I'll make it to her house, honey. Maybe not the house, depending on how far away she is from the event. It, this you is know, true. This, this is true. If and when, which I'm, I'm sure we'll like to go down to Florida. We like yeah. Florida. Yeah. 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 For sure. Let's see if I go there. I now. don't know where she's at in Florida, but I hope it's on. Near an ocean. You hope it's right on the water. And I hope she lives in a beach house on the water. <laughs> if she lives in a beach house on the water, we're there. <laughs> Passionate Pigment jumps in and said, yes, three miles from Florida. <laughs> She's three miles. She will be there. She's in Pensacola. All right. Nice. Nice. Never been there. We've been through it. And then Kathy Cooper says, go, up, go ahead and swing by Washington. Oh, swing by Washington. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Rod says, Texas is much closer. Which You'll be in Texas here pretty quick. Yeah, Waco, but he can't, he can't, he can't come to that. Right, 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 right. I didn't buy a ticket. That's okay. We're, we're, we're always close to Texas. So. Uh, Pam Dudley, the honor, are you coming to Santa Fe, New Mexico? I thought you had said on your podcast with Sherry Percy. Yeah, 
I will possibly be there um, in three or four months, maybe. I'm trying to make that work out. Yes. I am working on that for sure, Hannah. Well, Rebecca right, said she'll go to Santa Fe. <laughs> Does that sound good, girl? That sounds like fun. Uh, Grace says, I'm near the beach in North Carolina, just a hop. Just a hop over. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. You guys, I'm one of those people that dreads winter. I dread everything dying. I just prefer warmer weather and pretty flowers. You guys, I hate it when the flowers die. It bums me out. Yeah, Lolly says Plano, but that was already close to the king. So I was lucky enough to see Miss Dion. Yes. Oh yeah, I met Matt too. <laughs> Lolly, let's just let's just get it out there. You came to see me. It's okay. <laughs> I know you hide behind this I wanted to see Dion thing. <laughs> Lolly. <laughs> it's a good thing he likes you, Lolly. I do, I like it a lot. I know. And then uh, Irma says you can finish your tour in San Francisco. Perfection. Finish in for San Francisco. I love it. Okay, so I got my loose water. Ha ha ha, everybody. <laughs> yeah, on this piece, don't ever use tight water or medium water. We uh, want to use the loose. It's the trick. It's the trick, people. Everybody's everybody's so funny. Make fun of Dion. Lolly Lolly says you were standing in front of the cookies, Matt. <laughs> That's why she come up and see me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to guard those cookies, Lolly. They were really good. I never got one. Yeah, I thought uh, Michelle brought you some up there. From McKinney? Yeah. She came and got you a plate. Whether you made it or not, I don't know. But I know Debbie probably. Well, she wouldn't have eaten them. But Debbie, if I'm close to Debbie, she takes things off my table and it disappears. Vicki Andrews, I love, love those colors, you know. Thank you, Vicki. I've been using them in my new paint series um, canvas, and so I've just thought, let's do a piece of furniture, too. Let's do it. All right, loose water. What? I can always tell when you're having fun. You don't want to stop. I don't. I said I was going to stop because I, I literally can't feel my right leg. You said you were going to stop like three, three, four minutes ago. I, I can't even feel my right rear either. Like, the, my rear is completely... Numb. Hello, Abigail. So did that, did that phone pad help at all? It is helping me. Oh, okay. And I'm also putting it in my seat during the day, honey, in the chair. Oh, yeah. I told you that chair is kind of rough for me. I almost bought you a really comfortable uh, office chair when I was at Office Depot the other day. Mm -hmm. But I figured you'd just get mad at me, so I didn't. Ooh, office chairs are ugly. <sighs> well, then you're, you're just going to continue to have hurt back and bottles. We'll figure it out. Hi Del baby girl. What you doing? What you doing? All right, time to sign off. Together. Time to sign off. Abby's ready for bed. She's coming in here. And my loose water. A little spray action. Loose spray. We will be back tomorrow. Everybody have a great night. I love your face. Go be awesome on a super duper Friday. See ya. See ya.